In this shortcut tutorial I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips. Other video editing tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well I'm going to be using version 18.11.18. 18. Um, yours, if it's an older version, might be slightly different to this. Now the first thing that you'll see is this new project um, box here. Ignore the recent projects. This is things I've been tinkering around with. So in this new project box, first of all, you'll see something called project folder. Now it'll probably come up showing your videos as a default. So if you just left click on this and decide where you want to save your vid new rendered video to or your edited video, to what folder you're going to save it in just left click double click it and then just um, left click open and also give it a project name so I'm going to just basically call it edit net return no you don't even need to return just call it edit video mode now if you're new to this it should come up saying automatic and nine times out of ten that's fine if you want to try and change this just left click on the automatic bit and marry your video up to whatever format your video is in um, this is more to do with the aspect ratio and the frame rate than anything else so leave it at automatic and if you're getting difficulties try changing it afterwards okay now you're good to go. Left click on start. Now you'll need to have the playlist showing here because I've done some um, editing on this. I'm going to have to just left click on the button here that says playlists. You'll probably find that yours already comes up with this. So just left click on playlists if it doesn't show playlists at the top. Right bring in videos into um, shortcut you have two options you can either left click top of the screen on open file and then select the videos that you want to use and then left click on open obviously assuming that you've gone straight into the uh, folder which you should do if you've set it up at the beginning or as I prefer to do, do in a lot of um, instances not just with the uh, shortcut but other uh, software packages for want of a better word is I'll go through my file browser and then select them from there it's, you get a better thumbnail quite often so I don't know we'll just do three narrow it down and then because you've got your video selected just hold down your left mouse button and drag them over to this playlist here now for some reason no, there always plays the first one I don't know why so I'll just stop it by left clicking on the play button here okay now this is where your timeline tracks um, will appear as you sort of do bits and different editing so place your pointer on the first clip that you're going to use hold your left mouse button down and literally drag it to this timeline here and this will happen now the timeline marker will come in at the end of the clip so you've got an option you can either look for the arrow that says skip to the previous point or just hold down ALT and your left arrow button and just literally play through until you get to the point that you want to edit your clips so I don't know if you hold your left mouse button down over the marker you can drag it as well so let's say we want to cut it here again you got different ways of doing it it's always pay, play pays to learn shortcuts but for now if you just right click on the clip you've got something that says split at playhead and then brackets s so you can left click on this or just press s and that will split the clip 
right on this marker here. Now if you left click on the beginning section and again you can right click and then left click on cut or just press X on your keyboard and again hold down alt and your left mouse buttons go back to the beginning and then we'll just left click on play and nothing spectacular here we'll stop it there in fact it moved a bit so I'll just tweak it back okay again using this marker here and I'm just gonna press S and that will split it and then left click on the end part and then X if you're not sure you can always right click and then you either got cut and you've got split at playhead okay so let's go alt and my left mouse button and I'll just play this through quickly make sure I'm happy ish with it yeah that'll do okay hold your left mouse button down over the next clip drag it down into the timeline and then again holding down your left mouse button drag it so it snaps to the beginning or either right the end of your first clip hold down alt in your left mouse button and again play your clip till you want to cut it press S left click on the beginning section and then press X and that takes away that section now I'm going to just press alt and my left arrow button again or you can use this button here skip to previous point and play through I'm going to do this quite quickly you'll obviously have more time and we'll stop it there now we'll drag it back a bit just there that'll do again press S to split and then left click on the section you want to remove and press X jobs a good one do one more I'm going to drag this one into the timeline I'm going to slam it so it snaps to the beginning of the second clip I'll press alt and my left arrow button and then I know this actually doesn't do much to it's a fair way through so I'm going to just drag this marker by holding my left mouse button down over it until Choo Choo Train appears or just starts to appear so he's come in there he is right okay the marker there I'm going to just press S again left click on the beginning section or the first half and then press X and that gets rid of that hold down alt and my left arrow button or you can use this button here but I'm going to just play through this and I'll stop it there I think and I'm going to press S and then left click on the end and then X and that removes it I said if you're not too sure just right click on any of the clips you've got cut copy remove you've got all these you need to detach the, the audio but the one you want for cutting it is split at playhead brackets s okay so you're ready to render top of the screen look for the button that says export left click on this then decide the format you're going to use you've got quite a few options here most of them should work I'm going to choose H264 high profile left click on this and then you need to left click on export file and basically you still have to go back into the folder that you saved your at the beginning you created a folder for so navigate to this double click it and then left click on save and you should have a bar up here which gradually will go across and I'll come back to all of this when this is actually finished rendering okay well when you're 
video has finished rendering you'll notice it's happened because you'll have a little green a tick in a little green box you should have a video that plays back so just go into your file browser box that says edit or whatever else you called it and you should have an edited clip like well not like this because you won't have this these clips but anyway there you go um, hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers